is a different day. I just got back. To, uh, today is Saturday. I got back from James Spady's celebration, which was Thursday. Uh, James Spady is a major, a major African American black historian. Um, he understood how to take hip hop and put it within the historical uh, diaspora. He understood that where other uh, philosophers and not philosophers, other historians didn't know how to do that, or they didn't do it until he did it. But he understood that that was all necessary. I don't care if you was Queen Latifah, Little Kim, Foxy Brown, Roxanne Shante, um, uh, Sparky D, um, Smooth T, uh, uh, you know, MC Light, um, you know, um, Schooly D, Study B, Cool C, uh, Meek Mill, Last Emperor, Hieroglyphics, Delta Folkly Homo Sapien, uh, I don't care who you were as hip hop, Nas, Quamega, uh, AZ, um, Cool Keith, uh, MC Shan, you know, um, Cool G Rap, you know what I mean? I don't care who you was, Stallion, uh, Trina, you know what I mean? Um, whoever, Master P, whoever you were that was important, uh, he took all that hip hop and he put it. Uh, with the African diaspora as well. He didn't, he didn't, uh, boom. But we're going to get into this book like I was talking about, Marcus Garvey. I'm going to just read the beginning of this, and I'll read something that I think is interesting. And I'm going to just read this first part. Marcus Mosiah Garvey, 1887-1940, celebrating the 125th anniversary of his birth. Copyright James G. Spady. I'm going to take you here. This title. Norfolk, Virginia. Voice 7. The steamer came into sight about 2 o'clock and the interest rose to a high pitch as the people saw the boat was a big ocean going liner. Formerly owned by the Panama Railway, the Garvey organization purchased her for $100,000. Universal Negro Improvement Association members in Norfolk, Berkeley, Postmouth, Hampton, Rhodes, and surrounding areas had a long dream deferred. And now, it was becoming a reality. It was about the mind and spirit. Gary resuscitated memories and aspirations. He inspired an unprecedented mass movement of African people around the world. This day, something special was happening in Norfolk, and the people knew it. According to a newspaper account, long before the scheduled hour of its arrival, the pier was crowded by anxious followers of Marcus Garvey, provisional president of Africa, who wanted to see and inspect the boat. Now let's go here. There's another title within the same page. Marcus Garvey addresses Nile Club at Harvard University. One year prior, Garvey's victorious tour of Norfolk and other cities in Virginia, he was equally well received by black graduate and undergraduate students at Harvard University. According to a vivid account by John M. Fitzgerald, one of the few African-American students at Harvard University in the early 1920s. On a spring evening in 1922, at the height of his power and influence, Marcus Garvey came to Harvard University, which was racially segregated in nearly all aspects, safe the classroom. He came to address the Nile Club a group composed of all the several dozen black students at the university. Following dinner in the Harvard Union, the charismatic guests of honor spoke at length to the accumulated students of his program for the worldwide emancipation of the Negro through the development of racial unity and black pride. So you see that? Look how Spady opened that up. First he showed you the boat coming to Newark. I mean, not North, 
Norfolk, Virginia. Did you ever see that? Wasn't that visual? See that big liner ship ready for black economic distribution of products back then? You know what I'm saying? And then he goes to talk to Harvard black students, which is prejudice and racial situations all over the school, but in this classroom is safe so they can speak how they speak. Talk to them about how we're going to do the planning of a pan-African movement and the black uh, development of this uh, uh, movement with students, young black students at Harvard. Can you imagine? Beautiful. James Spady, you got to get this Marcus Garvey jazz reggae hip hop and the African diaspora book. Amazon, go where you go. You might spend pretty uh, a pretty penny for it too because it could be a lot of money now. Rest in power, peace. James G. Spady, bruh, brother, you did it. You was one of the few historians that uh, uh, put in that hip-hop too. You knew that that black uh, hip-hop was necessary from Queen Latifah's to Little Kim's to the Foxy Browns, Roxanne Shantae's. MC Shans, Mike Geronimo, Schooly D, Study B, Meek Mill, you know what I'm saying, Bahamadia. You knew these people were so important to hip-hop. I'm just naming a few, but I'm just trying to make you understand. Jazzy Jeff, uh, Cash Money, DJs Wise, Grandmaster Flash, Kaz, all these different elements, you know what I'm saying, Tupac. Yeah, you know I mean, you knew these people were important and you put it into the African diaspora because you knew that was part of African studies too. Where some uh, professors didn't do that. You made them do that. And you know you did James G. Spady. They don't have to say it. I'm saying it. One of the baddest historians in the universe that, that blessed us with so much knowledge. This particular book is one. This one out of many of the literary pieces that James Spady Crafted for your brain. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop will not die because of people like James Spady and the African people that develop it here in America. You know what I'm saying? Boom, fusing things. You know what I mean? But get this book. This is one of many. I might have a lot more. James G. Spady, live on, brother. Rest in peace, rest in power, as they say. Regular, cause I got a regular flow, a regular job Shit is already complex, guess you doing better than me Cause you know what's next, yup, so I gotta do that So I can keep up with life demands When they hand me a whole bunch of shit Like I'm headed to the dentist so I can get my teeth fixed Look, it hurts so bad, I had to get a cavity check The dentist had to look into it so ain't no decay in that bitch You keep telling people what they need to do Because you read a few books, you ain't never cooked no veggie burgers You just read about it and you think you're supposed to put a few beans and spinach in Stop pretending I ain't grinning Tell them don't show them That's a model you follow If they out of shape, throw a football Make a run a L play to the corner at the red car Next time, hunt the jaw Make them go real far Now they can see that you down for the long haul Don't be a messiah they Ain't never I go strong No, I can't help it That's just the way that people claim that I like to walk You still think that I'm regular Cause I follow my schedule I can't help it that I wanna get a nine to five so I can do my own thing when I'm here in your job talk Independent, you just started so you're thinking it's new Have your own experience, I ain't stopping your grind But 